What's going on, you guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. So getting back on track this week when it comes to talking about fitness, right? Like I started this YouTube channel to show my fitness and to show what I'm eating and to show how, how I'm training and just, just everything I love. And I haven't really been covering that because I've been having so much fun, but it is now time to get back to basics. I uh, did my first check-in with my coach, Bob, um, since my show, and this is the first time he's ever insulted me, I guess you could say. Uh, I think his exact words were, you definitely don't look bad, but you definitely don't look good. You're on borderline decent-ish. So, um, I guess politely, I guess we'd, we'd sort of say, we just work to do. Um, and they're not too shabby at all with regards to your overall visual, so let's not get off on the wrong foot first of all but what it looks like it looks like you're underfed a little bit um or at least usually it's the kind of look when someone comes off a contest prep usually splurges out a little bit too much and you sort of maintain some condition in some areas like especially from the side you can see that you know you've got a little bit of sort of like glute hand tie in um, towards like your sort of ITB area and uh, you've got obviously a little bit through everywhere else but um, it could be a mix of alcohol it could be the like probably like a lot in one meal and then like obviously like quite a lot of cloudiness to your physique as well, I would say and then flat in other areas so so that just means I just have to stop you know I have to stop just having fun having so much fun I guess you could say, but no, time to have fun back in the gym, time to back have fun training, time to back have fun in the kitchen. Speaking of kitchens, I currently do not have one. As you can see behind me, that is our kitchen at the moment. I will show you a clip after this, uh, after this little film, video film that I'm doing right now, and I'll show you exactly uh, what I have behind me and why I have it behind me. But um, yeah, so we're going back to basics. So Training is, uh, our main focus is going to be legs, right? So that was my main weak point at my show. Um, so I am going to be hitting legs twice a week. I'm going to be doing a quad focused leg day on Monday and then a hamstring focused leg day on Friday. So hitting that twice a week with two off days, with Tuesdays and Saturdays as my rest days. So um, it's going to be Sunday's going to be arms, Monday's going to be quad focused, Tuesday's a rest day, Wednesday's going to be back and abs, Thursday's going to be shoulders and chest, and then Friday is going to be the ham, hamstring focused leg day. So that is what we're doing. We are going progressive overload style, the same style of training I was doing during prep, which is as heavy as you can go for a minimum of six repetitions. So if I get six... I passed. If I get eight, even better. If I get 10, even better, and so on and so forth. So I, I log everything on all my workouts every week so I know exactly how much weight I did the week prior or two weeks prior because I like to do every other work. Like I like to switch, do like an A and a B workout, and then repeat that every two weeks. So this will really help me determine how much stronger I'm getting and if I need to up my calories. And all that because I am trying to get as strong as possible um, this off season. I have about, I would say, a good 12 months to put on muscle. So that is what we are going to do. And it all starts in the kitchen. I'm, I'm keeping my diet very, very basic at the moment. My, th I'm doing like three main carb sources: oatmeal, love oatmeal, as you guys, as you guys know, um, jasmine rice and sweet potatoes. That is my three carb sources. My three protein sources are. Chicken breast, ground turkey, lean ground beef. Those are my three protein sources. And my fat sources are whole eggs, almond butter, and olive oil. Very, very basic. I'm doing 60 grams of pro. No, I lied. I'm doing, it's about four to 500 calories per meal. I'm eating six whole meals a day. So I'm getting 60 grams of carbohydrates with every meal. 30 grams of protein and about 10 grams of fat. So that is the macros that I'm on right now. It's put me right around 3,200 calories. And it also opens my myself up for flexibility down the line with cheat meals and stuff like that. I'm gonna do a homemade 
cheat meal. Like I like to do burgers or steaks one day a week. And that's all I'm really going to do at the moment until I get back on track and get my, my physique a little tighter and less, less watery, a little too much partying, a little too much, um, staying up late and it's time to get back on track. So that's it. So I might show some clips from my leg day that I'm going to hit today. Cause today is Monday, July, June 13th. I turn, uh, 32 in less than a month. So yeah, so that's where we're at. I will show you the, the, the clips of the kitchen behind me, my actual kitchen that is torn up, and then my brand new bathroom, which you can kind of see from um, the opening right there. So time to get back on track. Let's do this. This video is brought to you by The Chicken Pound. Use code ELECTRIC10 at checkout for 10% off your entire order. Like I said, we had to turn my office into a kitchen. So here it is. Here's like our oatmeal, our protein powders, our supplements, olive oil, almond butter, our two main condiments, which is salt and pepper. We have all of our supplements is stacked up here. I usually keep them in that cabinet right there, but just for convenience, um, they're right there. Microwave, air fryer, food scale, uh, Paper plates, which I haven't used since I li was living on my own in the apartment. Um, like I said, air fryer, rice cooker, toaster, Keurig, little blender mixer. That's everyone should have this in their home. It's like eleven dollars. Go buy it on Amazon right now. A little cutting board station. The cutting board's actually being washed, which we have to use our dog bed to wash all of our dishes. And then here's like our little coffee and uh, silverware table. You know, you got your stevia some seasoning, some more supplements, yada, yada, yada. So this is the way we are living right now. Um, we have no kitchen, so my office is the new kitchenette, I guess you could say, just like working back at the office. Speaking of the kitchen, this is our kitchen right now. I tore up all this flooring. I was literally taking this hammer right here, this mallet, I guess you could say, and I was hitting it as hard as I could on the tile to where it was um, sparking and causing smoke to come up from the ground. So that was pretty wild. So that was a really good workout actually. And it really helped me get some aggression out. That's the flooring that's eventually gonna be going down. It's the same that we have going to the basement, which is right there. Don't mind my dirty laundry. I'm getting ready to do a little laundry. But yeah, we have to get the plumbing redone. We have to get all the electric redone. We have to obviously paint. Probably do some more drywall. All of the appliances that we have currently, stove, fridge. Um, we're gonna be selling the stove. This fridge is more than likely gonna go in the garage as our backup fridge. Can never have too many fridges. And yeah, we gotta paint this and just, yeah. So there's so much work that we have to do, but we are getting by. Um, this is where the fridge is located. This is, you come in from uh, the hallway here. Yep, and this is this is your kitchen. This is it. This is this fridge. So, which I need to do uh, some grocery shopping here pretty quickly. But uh, but yeah, this is the way I'm living. So, even with uh, crappy situations, we're still staying on plan and still getting the job done. Like this, I just cooked some uh, more extra lean ground beef for the week. So this will get me through Friday. Guys, I am pumped to announce my new partnership with Redcon One. Yes, you heard that right, Redcon One. I am guessing you have used some sort of supplement from Redcon One. My personal favorite is MRE Light. I mix this with my oatmeal every single morning. I talked about that in my vlog two of this series. No joke, I've literally used it in my oatmeal every morning for give or take about two years. Not to mention something that I always love to keep in my supplement cabinet is RPG. This is a glucose disposal agent for your cheat meals. This is a must. Take this before your meal and it will do wonders to your digestion. So guys, thank you guys for supporting me and thank you guys for supporting Redcon 1. My promo code is T20. Electric Ely. I will put it down right here to show you guys exactly and to make it even easier on you guys. 
I included a link in the bottom of the description. So all you have to do is click that link for Redcon 1 supplements. We also just had our bathroom done. So if you guys never seen like a, a modern floating bathroom, this is it. So here's our toilet. There's zero tank. So it's behind this wall. So in order to flush the toilet, it's kind of like a public toilet. You know, you got to push this button for number one, push this button for number two, test it out for number one. Pretty cool stuff. This took three months for this job to be done. So say I am happy that it's done is an understatement. Here is our medicine cabinet and floating vanity. This is a cool medicine cabinet. Lights up for more lighting and it obviously opens. Ooh. And another mirror behind it, isn't that, isn't that cool? And then another mirror right here. So mirrors all over the place. And this is our new shower with bath and new tiling. They put the shelves in for us. And also we have more shelving here. So we're keeping it a very simple, uh, modern look, like I said. So we're not gonna be putting many, like any other shelves or anything up. We might put like a towel rack up, either like right here or maybe like right here. But besides that, I love ba being basic and I love the simplicity of this bathroom. So I did put this in um, this weekend so you can put your cell phone on it when you're taking a dump. I mean, how cool is that, right? We have the same one in the basement bathroom as well. Oh.